time to tell you what we will be reading with the hauling pack for the sixth last month of the year. Yes, I'm a bit late, but I'm sorry. What's up? I hope you're good. So I don't know if you know that, but I have a very low-key chill book club. Sometimes I'm the only one reading, sometimes we are 50 reading it, and yeah, it just depends. And we only talk about it on Discord, and that's very chill, no live stream, no deadline or whatever. I just split the book in three or four, whatever, it depends, and we talk about it each week on Discord. So now that being said, let's talk about the books we'll be reading. And first, I really have to start with July, which is now we are reading this one so blade of secrets by trisha levenseller it is a ya fantasy i've read all her books i loved all her books so that's telling you something one of my favorite authors i guess i never thought about it i guess yes but it has to do with the main character who actually doesn't love the society she doesn't love to be in the middle of people so i guess it touches some kind of mental health, agoraphobia, etc, etc. And she is actually forging like swords, etc. And actually she's gonna get a commission and the commission is to build, like create some kind of sword. And the sword is actually capable of stealing its victims secrets and maybe that's not the right thing to do i don't know but there is also a little bit of romance in it which i usually really don't mind with trisha levin seller so i'm looking forward to this one and it is a very Anyway, it just came out like a few months ago, I guess, so yay! Then for August, you actually picked a chunky book that's over... There is no page number. Oh yes, over 600 pages and that the acknowledgement is huge. But you picked that one and that's a book that came out in 2011, I guess. Let me check. Yes, in June 21st of 2011, it is an adult fantasy, urban fantasy, mythology, and it is by one of my favorite authors, a storyteller, American Gods by Neil Gaiman. So we'll be reading that one in August. And I feel like August is still like summer, and I know some people are like into contemporary or romance books. During summer, I'm more into chunky fantasy <laughs> in the summer. So that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, I love the color. I love Neil Gaiman. I really hope I'm gonna enjoy this book with you Wolves. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be amazing. Moving it here a little bit because I want it here. Yeah. Let me know if you've read that one, if you actually enjoyed it. Days before his release from prison, Shadow's wife, Laura, dies in a mysterious car crash. Normally he makes his way back home. On the plane, he encounters the enigmatic Mr. Wednesday, who claims to be a refugee from a distant war, a former god and a king of America. Together they embark on a profoundly strange journey across the heart of the USA, whilst all around them a storm of preternatural and epic proportions threatens to break. Scary, gripping and deeply unsettling, American Gods takes a long hard look into the soul of America. You'll be surprised by what and who it finds there. <sighs> I'm intrigued, I hope you are too, and I have that edition. It's a chunky book, but we'll be reading it together, so it's gonna be okay. Then for September, it is a new release kind of thing. It came out in June 2021 and it is a YA fantasy retelling. Can you guess which one it is? Because we talked about it a few times and it has a wolf in the title. It is For the Wolf by Hannah Witten. So, yeah, finally, finally, finally. It is actually the beginning of a series because the second one is actually for the throne. I'm not intrigued by the title. I prefer it for the wolf. The first daughter is for the throne. The second daughter is for the wolf. For friends of Uprooted and the Bear and the Nightingale comes a dark fantasy novel about a young woman who must be sacrificed to the legendary wolf of the wood to save her kingdom. But not all legends are true. And the wolf isn't the only danger lurking in the wi wild Wilderwood? Wilderwood? Do you say Wilderwood? I guess yes. As the only second daughter born in centuries, Red has one purpose to be sacrificed to the wolf in the wood, in the hope he will return the wolf's captured gods. Red is almost relieved to go. Plagued by a dangerous power she can't control, at least she knows that in the Wilderwood she can't hurt those she loves. Again. But the legends lie. The wolf is a man, not a monster. Her magic is a calling, not a curse. And if she doesn't learn how to use it, the monsters the gods have become will swallow the Wilderwood and her world whole. And at the beginning of the book there is a list of content warning. I have 
not the book yet so but thank you for letting me know and yes i guess little red red hood what's the name in english i don't know red hood retelling you know what i mean so i'm really intrigued especially because they say like the bear and the nightingale this is a dark fantasy and it's adult fantasy not YA. sorry for my mistake it's an adult fantasy not YA. Then for October we have another book that was actually picked by you that was released in October 2017 so it will be easier for some of you to get it from your library. I wish I had a library with books in English here. Yeah. But it is an adult sci-fi fantasy kind of thing queer and it is An Unkindness of Ghosts by Reavers Solomon. Apparently this is a story of someone who is seen as a monster by the people around and she doesn't really believe that because if she was really a monster she would be like whole powerful and able to escape as they try and tear the walls down blah blah blah. Apparently for generations the Matilda has ferried the last of humanity to a mythical promised land. On its way the ship's leaders have imposed harsh moral restrictions and deep indignities on dark-skinned sharecroppers like Aster who they consider to be less than human. When the autopsy of Matilda Severin reveals a surprising link between his death and her mother's suicide some quarter century before, Aster retraces her mother's footsteps. Embroiled in a grudge with a brutal overseer and sowing the seeds of civil war, Aster learns there may be a way of the ship if she's willing to fight for it. So it sounds really interesting. Maybe not an easy read, but really interesting. I'm looking forward to that one. Thank you for the suggestion, Wolves. Okay, then for November, we're gonna be reading a book that I really wanna read. I watched the movie, really enjoyed it. I cannot pronounce the name of that book, I mean the title of that book, for the sake of me. It was released in February 2014. It is adult sci-fi fantasy, kind of horror-ish, but it's like a nice horror, I would say, but like more psychological horror, not like gore-ish or whatever. And this is Annihilation? Annihilation? Any annihilation, annihilation by Chef Van der Meer. Yeah, so the cover is over here. And it's a series, so I did not know that, but actually you have the second book, Authority, and the third one, Acceptance. I did not know it was a series, but it's really like, I, I watched the movie, so I'm scared to actually spoil it because I don't know how different it is from the book or whatever, but basically nature is kind of taking over. There is some kind, like in the movie, there is some kind of dome and like blocking the humans from that area. And you can actually go there, but everything that goes within that dome, like inside of it, has to suffer from genetic modification, let's say. And not especially good, not especially bad or whatever, just modifications. Things are going on there. So that's what I know from the movie. Yeah, it sounds kind of similar because here it says that Area X has been cut off from the rest of the world from decades. Nature has reclaimed the last prestiges of human civilization. And like there were so many expeditions, but all went wrong. And then at the end, we're gonna follow a new expedition. And that group is actually made up of four women. They're going there and discover what's happening. I really, really, really did enjoy the movie. So I hope I'm gonna enjoy the book as well. And for December, okay, something is coming in January for you, but there is also something that should come for you beginning of December, like a one week kind of thing. So excited for it. Okay, the book we'll be reading in December is a book that came out in September 2016. And I want to say December, you know, there is a song December, December, it's snowy, December, it's like, I don't know, the bear and the nightingale, you know, some kind of Russian vibes, etc. So we're going to be reading Vasa in the Night by Porter. What's the name of your author? Boop, 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 boop. Sarah Porter. I know it is some kind of retelling, but I don't know if it's a retelling of Anastasia, if it's a retelling of like Russian folklore, because I think there is like... Um... Oh, Vasa, Vasa, Vasilisa. Is it like Vasilisa the Beautiful retelling? I don't know, but I feel like there is some kind of Baba Yaga because one of the main characters name is like Babs Yags. Babs Yags Baba Yaga. Look, so Vasa in the Night is a magical realism story based on a Russian fairy tale. It sounds good, but I feel like, yeah, magic realism, urban fantasy kind of thing happening in Brooklyn, Russian folklore, I'm all in for it. So I'm so intrigued. <laughs> 
But yeah, well, that's it for now. Let me know if any of them picked your interest, if you've already read some of them or if you're planning on adding them to your TBR and maybe read them with me and the rest of the pack. But yeah, if you have any suggestions for next year, I'm already planning everything. I'm missing like three books, I feel, for the entire year of 2022. Focusing on older releases, so it's easier for everyone to get them. I am trying to find different kind of books and not always like the same type of books. So any suggestion is one. Welcome. But yeah, well, I'm gonna leave you here because I don't have like much to say. It's like all has been said, I feel like. But yeah, well, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to be a part of the pack. Talk to me in the comment section as usual. And until next time, take care, Wolves. Bye!